So today I have two sewing makes to share with you and the first one is this tank top that I'm wearing which I think will be a good piece to transition into the fall because you can put something on top of on top of it to layer it so this is vintage pattern simplicity 9488 and I made the first few and when I first saw this I thought that these little this little ruffled area was created by elastic but it actually isn't it just is gathered so you just gather the sides and you sew them down so I thought that that was really really nice so this is the front it's not too long but I like the length and then this is the back yeah so it was a pretty simple make it came together fairly uh, quickly so that's that okay so my second sewing make is McCall's 8011 I made view B and this is a denim well I made mine in a denim so it is the jacket but I made mine out of some really sturdy denim it's really really heavy and this is what it looks like okay so this was my first time making a denim jacket and um, I'm really happy with the results so there are a lot of pieces in this pattern they are actually 13 um, but the 13 includes the button placement piece so there are 12 and then you add that on that makes 13 so um, I did do the I think it's called epaulette something like that this is my first time doing one of those so that it has that on each side of the shoulders so I like that little detail and there's also a button at the end of each little pocket area and I use the denim jeans type of buttons where you have to kind of stick the back of the metal piece through the hole and then you kind of hammer the top down and it wasn't hard to do I thought it would be but it, it wasn't hard at all so let's see what else is there to say about this I did make a mistake on the front here and so I ran out of fabric because I made the mistake and I had to recut but I didn't have any more denim so I ended up using a pair of jeans that I was planning to donate and I just cut them up cut down one of the legs so that's why this piece here is a little bit lighter than the rest of the garment but I'm okay with that and did I show you the back I can't remember the back is just simple um, let me see what else Oh, it does have pleats on the pocket so you put the little pleats there and then you sew that down what else they wanted you to do some slip stitching around the collar around the bottom band and also around the sleeve cuff area but I didn't do that I just decided to fold everything over and then just sew it down with my uh, sewing machine and that worked out just fine I didn't want to do any hand stitching especially since this is a really heavy fabric and what else there was a mistake in the pattern and I will tell you about that right now okay so I want to show you the directions and I want to show you the front piece that I used where I got a little stuck so under view B step 11 it looks like this I did write on it just in case I ever make this again I was making a note to myself but this is the step that I'm talking about. Let's see, let me get the number in there. Can you see, okay, yes, number 11. Okay, so what it says is to pin the front band sections together, matching the large circles. Okay, so this is the pattern piece. This is what it looks like, and these are the circles that they're referring to, one for your size. Okay, so I marked the circle, and these are the, the pieces. So this is the circle that is marked. There's one on the front, and there's one on the back, and it says to match the circle. So that's what I did there. And then it says stitch the front and the upper edge, pivoting at large circle. Okay, so that's where I got stuck. So here's the front edge and the upper edge. So I sewed, oh, sorry. Here's the front edge right here and the upper edge. Okay, so I was sewing along, and then when it got to this point, it said pivot at the circle. But I was like, if I pivot, you know, am I going to pivot off of here? What do they mean? 
Um, so I called McCall's because I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. And it turns out that McCall's said, the person on the phone said, no, you don't pivot at the circle. That should not be there. So all you were supposed to do is just continue to sew from this folded edge over to here. And then you pivot at this point. There is no circle there to pivot, but you do go ahead and just go to this point and pivot on down. So yes, I did want to point that out because it caused me a little confusion. So just in case you ever make this, just uh, keep in mind that that step where it tells you to pivot at the circle, you don't have to do that. All right. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to mention is that my buttons are on the right side, but in the pattern, they are supposed to be on the left side, but I made a mistake, another one. So when I got to the bottom, this little piece down at the bottom, there's an extension and it has a buttonhole on it. Well, I actually put this bottom band on the wrong side. This extension piece is supposed to be on the right-hand side. And when I realized that it was on the left-hand side instead, then I was like, oh man, well, since it calls for a buttonhole there, I'm, gonna go, I'm going to have to go ahead and put all of the buttons on that side. So instead of you know trying to redo everything and recut, I just decided to just keep everything the way it was and to just put the button, buttons on the right-hand side. It does make it a little awkward when you kind of button it up, but it looks okay. So that is it. I'm really happy with this sewing make my first denim jacket and I will go ahead and show you what this looks like on. So that is my denim jacket. I'm really pleased with it. And um, my love share for today is something I didn't know, maybe you knew, but I did not know that there are something called lift height insoles that you can place into your shoes to make you appear taller. And they have a little wedge heel on the back. You slip them in your shoes and you can, it'll make you um, appear taller there. Yeah. So there's a lizard on the wall that kind of just a gecko thing that just kind of threw me off. But anyway, so that is my love share for the day. And I will put a picture up of the insoles so that you can see them. And another thing I learned is that they are also for men or women. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so thank you for watching and I will be back in the next video.